Welcome to a cosmic journey. Today our destination lies at the outer edges of our solar system, the mystic planet Neptune. As the eighth and farthest known planet from the sun, Neptune is a realm of ice and darkness, shrouded in mystery and bathed in the faint ghostly light of the distant sun. Despite its remote location, this gas giant holds a prominent position in our solar system, serving as a symbol of the vast unexplored frontiers that await us in space. Neptune, named after the Roman god of the sea, is a testament to human curiosity and our relentless pursuit of knowledge. Its discovery marked a significant milestone in the history of astronomy, a triumph of prediction over observation. As we dive into the enigmatic world of Neptune, we'll uncover the secrets of this icy giant, exploring its physical characteristics, atmosphere, magnetic field, rings, moons, and more. So fasten your seatbelts as we journey to this distant icy giant. Neptune, unlike other planets, reveals itself not through the naked eye but through the power of mathematics and predictions. Indeed, the eighth planet from the Sun was discovered in the mid-19th century, not by chance but through careful calculation. Two brilliant minds, Urban Le Verrier and John Couch Adams, independently predicted its existence based on the irregularities they observed in the orbit of Uranus. Their mathematical models pointed to a yet undiscovered planet, and voila, when astronomers pointed their telescopes in the directed position, there it was, Neptune, right where the math said it would be. As for its name, Neptune, it was as majestic as the sea god it was named after. In Roman mythology, Neptune ruled over the seas, and the planet's deep blue color seemed a fitting tribute to this deity of water. And thus, the sea god Neptune found its place in our solar system. Neptune, the blue gaseous giant, holds secrets within its depths, Imagine a world so vast, so distant that it takes a beam of light, the fastest thing in the universe, over four hours to reach it from Earth. That's Neptune for you, the eighth and farthest known planet in our solar system. When it comes to size, Neptune, like a king in his court, is not to be outdone. It boasts a diameter of about 30,000 miles, making it the fourth largest planet in our solar system. But size isn't everything, is it? Let's talk about mass. Neptune, despite being smaller than Uranus, is denser and has more mass. It is 17 times as massive as Earth, giving it the title of the densest of the outer gas giants. Now let's dive beneath Neptune's royal blue exterior. The planet is composed primarily of hydrogen and helium, with traces of methane that give it its signature azure hue. But that's just the surface. As we venture deeper, we encounter a thick, hot mixture of water, ammonia, and methane over a rocky core. This mantle makes up a good chunk of Neptune's mass and is akin to an ocean, albeit one that's tens of thousands of kilometers deep and under extreme pressure and temperature. Neptune's structure is also worthy of note. Unlike Earth, it doesn't have a solid surface. Rather, the gases and fluids transition gradually into the core, a feature common among gas giants. The core itself is Earth-sized and made of rock and metal, serving as the heart of this distant world. So, there you have it. A quick tour of Neptune's physical characteristics. From its immense size and mass to its intriguing composition and structure, Neptune is a testament to the diversity and complexity of our solar system. This gas giant, primarily made of hydrogen and helium, has much more to offer than meets the eye. Neptune's atmosphere, a swirling mix of colors and storms, is a spectacle in itself. This gaseous envelope is primarily composed of hydrogen and helium, with a touch of methane that gives Neptune its characteristic blue hue. But what truly sets it apart are the extreme weather patterns. The highest cloud tops whip around the planet at over 1,000 miles per hour, making Neptune one of the windiest places in the solar system. These supersonic winds sculpt large dark storms across the planet's complexion, like the Great Dark Spot, a tempest as wide as our own planet Earth. These storms can last for years, adding to the dynamism of Neptune's atmosphere. The clouds, on the other hand, are often white or faintly colored composed of frozen methane, and they float in an atmosphere where temperatures can plunge to minus 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Neptune's atmosphere is a turbulent, dynamic place, full of stormy surprises. Like Earth, Neptune too has a magnetic field, but with a twist. The magnetic field of Neptune is about 27 times more powerful than that of our planet. But what makes it unique is its orientation. Unlike Earth's magnetic field, which aligns closely with our planet's rotation axis, Neptune's magnetic field is tilted at a staggering 47 degrees relative to the planet's rotation axis. Moreover, the magnetic field doesn't originate from the planet's center. Instead, it's offset, 
with the source lying somewhere in Neptune's outer layers. Scientists believe this peculiar arrangement is due to the conductive ocean of water and ammonia that lies beneath Neptune's cloud tops, which generates the planet's magnetic field when it moves. Despite its oddities, Neptune's magnetic field, much like Earth's, protects the planet from solar winds and traps charged particles, creating a bubble-like region around the planet known as the magnetosphere. Neptune's magnetic field, though tilted and offset, plays a vital role in its cosmic existence. Circling Neptune are its faint rings and a coterie of moons, each with its own tail. Neptune's rings are elusive, often overlooked features, but they're as captivating as they are mysterious. Unlike the prominent icy rings of Saturn, Neptune's rings are darker and less reflective, composed primarily of organic compounds and dust. The planet boasts five known rings, each named after astronomers who played crucial roles in Neptune's discovery and study. Moving from the rings to Neptune's moons, we encounter a fascinating array of celestial bodies. Neptune holds sway over 14 known moons, each as unique as a fingerprint. Among them, Triton, the largest moon, steals the limelight. Discovered just 17 days after Neptune itself, Triton is one of the few moons in our solar system that spins in the opposite direction of its planet's rotation, a phenomenon known as retrograde orbit. Triton is a geologically active world with nitrogen geysers that spew dark dust into its thin atmosphere. It's also the coldest known object in our solar system with temperatures plunging to a frigid minus 235 degrees Celsius. Triton's icy surface is a patchwork of geological features, with vast frozen plains, old crater terrains, and mounds and ridges formed by geological activity. Among Neptune's other moons, Proteus, the second largest, is an irregularly shaped body believed to be a remnant from a much larger moon that was shattered by a massive impact. Nereid, another intriguing moon, has one of the most eccentric orbits of any moon in our solar system. Indeed, each of Neptune's moons, from the smallest to the largest, is a world unto itself, with unique characteristics and mysteries waiting to be unraveled. Their individual stories and the clues they hold about our solar system's past make them subjects of immense interest to astronomers and space enthusiasts alike. From icy rings to its intriguing moon Triton, Neptune's celestial family is as fascinating as the planet itself. Neptune's long journey around the Sun is a testament to its distance from us. As the eighth and farthest planet from the Sun in our solar system, Neptune takes a whopping 165 Earth years to complete one orbit. That's right. If you lived on Neptune, you'd celebrate your first birthday when you're 165 years old. But while its year is incredibly long, its day is a different story. Neptune rotates on its axis once every 16 hours, giving it a day-night cycle much like our own, albeit a bit faster. This rapid rotation causes Neptune's shape to become slightly oblong, flatter at the poles and wider at the equator. It's a fascinating contrast, isn't it? A year that lasts a lifetime and a day that's gone in a blink. Neptune's slow dance around the sun and its swift rotation make it a planet of contrasts. In the family of gas giants, how does Neptune compare? Let's dive into the cosmic waters to find out. Neptune is often likened to its celestial sibling, Uranus. Both are ice giants known for their stunning blue hues, a result of atmospheric methane absorbing red light. But that's where the similarities tend to fade. Neptune is the windiest planet in our solar system, with speeds reaching 2,000 kilometers per hour. That's nine times stronger than the most powerful winds on Earth. Uranus, on the other hand, is a bit more relaxed, with winds topping out at around 900 kilometers per hour. In terms of size, Neptune holds a slight edge over Uranus, boasting a larger mass and volume. And let's not forget about the magnetic fields. Neptune's magnetic field is about 27 times more powerful than that of Uranus. While Neptune shares a kinship with other gas giants, it retains its unique characteristics. Our knowledge of Neptune owes much to the brave robotic explorers that have ventured to its realm. The most significant of these is Voyager 2, the only spacecraft to have ever visited this distant planet. Launched in the late 70s, Voyager 2 made its closest approach to Neptune in the late 80s. What it found was a world of deep blue, shrouded in thick clouds and whipped by supersonic winds. Voyager 2 also discovered six new moons and a surprisingly active geology on Neptune's largest moon, Triton. The spacecraft's images of the Great Dark Spot, an Earth-sized storm, brought Neptune's dynamic weather into sharp focus. These discoveries not only expanded our understanding of Neptune, but also raised new questions about this mysterious planet. 
The Voyager 2 mission opened a window into Neptune's world, a window that future missions may widen. Neptune, the farthest planet, holds some intriguing secrets. It's the only planet in our solar system not visible to the naked eye, requiring a telescope to be spotted from Earth. But don't let its distance fool you. This blue giant is home to some of the most extreme weather conditions in the solar system with winds reaching 2,000 km per hour, that's faster than any hurricane on Earth. And speaking of Earth, did you know that one year on Neptune is equivalent to a whopping 165 Earth years? Imagine celebrating your next birthday on Neptune. You'd be waiting quite a while. As for its moons, Neptune boasts 14 of them, with Triton being the largest. Interestingly, Triton orbits in the opposite direction to Neptune's rotation, a phenomenon known as a retrograde orbit. Neptune, with its intense winds and icy moon, never ceases to amaze. Our journey to Neptune has been a voyage of discovery. We've journeyed together through the cold depths of space to reach this distant blue giant, the eighth planet from the sun in our solar system. We've marveled at its beautiful blue color, a result of its methane-rich atmosphere that absorbs red light and reflects blue. We've delved into its discovery, learning about the mathematical predictions that led astronomers straight to Neptune, a planet so far away that it's invisible to the naked eye. We've explored the mythology behind its name, understanding how this icy giant came to be associated with the Roman god of the sea. We've examined Neptune's physical characteristics, learning about its immense size and mass, and its unique composition of hydrogen, helium, and ices. We've journeyed through its atmosphere, braving the supersonic winds and gigantic storms that rage within. We've discovered its magnetic field, a phenomenon that's tilted and offset compared to the planet's rotation, leading to some truly wild auroras. We've marveled at its rings, faint and elusive, and its moons, particularly Triton, a moon that orbits in the opposite direction to Neptune's rotation. We've explored Neptune's orbit and rotation, learning about its long year of 165 Earth years and its rapid day that lasts just over 16 hours. We've compared Neptune to its fellow gas giants, recognizing its similarities and differences, particularly with Uranus, its near twin. We've celebrated the exploration missions that have given us a closer look at Neptune, particularly Voyager 2, the only spacecraft to have visited Neptune so far. We've shared some interesting facts about Neptune and looked at the remarkable observations made by the Hubble Space Telescope. We've discussed the Great Dark Spot, a massive storm in Neptune's atmosphere, and the potential for future exploration. As we end our cosmic journey, remember that Neptune, the distant blue giant, holds many more secrets waiting to be discovered. So keep exploring, keep learning, and as always, stay curious. Uh.